So our solution to this problem is creating a 3D interactive game that basically teaches about old historic Monterey, like in the 1850s. And uh, it's, it could be based for, I mean, it could be for kids, it could be for adults alike. I mean, like, ideally we want to make it like a fun, attractive, and uh, visually persuasive game. And I think we've actually done that. It's just, uh, it might be a little difficult to learn, like to be quite honest, but it's like, uh, you know, if we had more time to work on the project, I think it would actually become something even greater than it already is. And uh, luckily, there actually is a crew that's doing that. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's a great game. And uh, you know, if you want to play it, we can actually do that for you at the poster session right after this presentation. So, so one of our main goals in making this was um, to make an accurate representation of any of these sites around Monterey. So to start with, we went, we got reference photos of everything that we were doing went into Maya and uh, created 3D models of these buildings, created uh, texture maps in Photoshop for them so that they wouldn't just look like big blank gray boxes. We then created an environment in Unity, imported all of our stuff into there, created sort of a, a representation of a terrain, trees, all that good stuff. Um, then we started to write a story for it, somewhere that the player would have motivation, who their villain is, what their goal is, all that created a um, gameplay progression from this, um, clues that the player would want to find, what order they'd go to places in, where they begin, where they end, and then we actually went in and coded all of this so that it would be worse that you can pick up items and things like that. It's a very complicated process. But uh, some of the tools we used for our project included uh, Unity, which is like a 3D game engine. It's also a 2D game engine, which we use both sides. But then uh, there's also Autodesk Maya, which is like a 3D modeling animation program. It's, uh, it's a pretty complex program on its own. But anyway, uh, and then there's another one. We used uh, Adobe Photoshop for doing like the textures and uh, editing textures. Like there were some custom made textures, but then there was also a lot of other ones that were like, uh, I guess you could say borrowed. But basically, we have to make it look good. So it has to be, you know, like do a lot of research and finding all this stuff. You actually have to do a lot of searching. It takes a lot of time. Anyway, uh, we got another program we used was Adobe Illustrator, and that was for doing like uh, GUI elements, which was like, for example, I don't know if you know what a graphic user interface is, but uh, that's like something where like you're playing a game and uh, press like the escape button, for example, and it brings up a menu. It'd be like, uh, you know, I don't know, restart game or options menu, stuff like this. That's all GUI elements. Anyway, that's uh, what we use Adobe Illustrator for. And uh, there were some other tools as well, but uh, those were like the main ones, and they were like basically it. So, so um, you may not know it from you know looking at just the two of us, but we actually have a five-person team with three interns we were working with, and with that many people, um, teamwork and communication is very important. Being able to delegate tasks, being able to coordinate tasks, make sure that everybody knows what they're doing at any given time. You don't have a lot of overlapping. We also learned that game design development takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Asset creation, huge, vast quantities of time. Um, yeah, we learned a lot about texturing. A lot of time texturing. <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you're interested in learning more of the project or try it out or whatever, it's, uh, we have our first session in room 104 right after this presentation. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, same thing. So yeah, hope you all have a nice day and thank you very much for coming out.